Hi everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look at how we can change a photo into a uh, the look of a sketch or a hand-drawn picture. So I've got this picture as my background. The first thing I'm going to do is Control J to make a copy of that layer. And then we're going to add a hue saturation layer to the top. And we're going to desaturate it 100%. We're going to click on this middle layer. I'm going to press Control I to invert it. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge. Now at this point, I'm going to right click on this layer and turn it into a smart object. If you don't have the ability to use smart objects, if you're using a really old version of Photoshop, don't worry, you don't need to do this. I'm just doing this because it's a simpler way of getting back and tweaking the settings. Um, so we're going to add a filter to this layer. I'm going to go to blur, Gaussian blur. Now this can depend um, on the picture. Obviously we have a radius right there, you don't really see much of anything. Um, right up to the top you're pretty much back as normal. Generally you'll find somewhere between 40 and 55 is where you're going to be with most pictures, but it does vary a little bit. Um, this is the beauty of having the smart object because we can open up this blur and change it at any point. And at the very top of this stack I'm going to put a levels adjustment and you're generally going to find you're going to have to shift everything up um, but again every photo is different uh, and it depends on the taste and how you want the effect Now that's a little bit strong but I'm going to leave that because I like it in some parts but not in others so what I'm going to do is go onto the layer mask make sure my foreground colour is black take a brush tool opacity around 30% obviously make sure you're on the mask and you can just draw back the effect to certain areas and because you're using a, a brush with only 30% you can do multiple passes on areas where you want to reduce the effect more that's a bit strong in the middle there so do multiple passes on there just to to brine it up and on a hand So you very quickly, very easily, go from a normal picture to a sketch. If you are a member and you're watching this video via the website, um, you will have access to this file to download to run along with the tutorial if you want to. Thanks for watching. Till the next time. Bye for now.